Ministry of Finance and the Public Service is launching the Public Bodies Database of Prospective Directors, which is an online database meant to improve the probity, transparency, and efficiency of the process for nominating, selecting, and appointing persons to the boards of Jamaica's public bodies. Persons willing to serve on public body boards will be able to fill out an application online. Due diligence check will determine if these persons possess the requisite knowledge, skills, and experience to be selected for appointment to public body boards. If so, their information will be placed in the database for a possible future selection. The government of Jamaica, in its effort to promote improved efficiency and effectiveness, of our public bodies brought into effect by the Public Bodies Management and Accountability Selection Regulations 2021. Now, what is the regulations? The regulations came into full effect on January 20, 2023. Applicants who are desirous of exercising their civic duty can now complete an online application via the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service website, mof.gov.jm, to access the portal. So becoming a prospective director is quite simple, and it starts with just a click. From the landing page, please select Public Body Board's application, and from that section, you'll be required to create a profile. Once the profile has been created, page one, we have an eligibility criteria where it is that you must consent to a due diligence process, which is necessary for us to ensure that we have the best persons in the system. Once you have consented and you said, yes, you're willing to do the due diligence, it takes you to the first page. So let me make that clear. The fit and proper is also, we, we require that you consent, however, the difference between the two is that a fit and proper is going to be required for financial boards, board of strategic importance, and so on, and you must consent as well. If it is that you do not wish, then you can also continue the application. You'll be required to give some demographic information, um, a little bit about your education and your experience. This is required because we have put into the system some competencies based on the respective public body boards that is going to be necessary when we're doing the selection for the best fit. Move on to the second page, we're looking at qualifications, professional skills, as well as your community involvement. Any boards that you'll be sitting on is also there. Your level of expertise is also important because we want to know that you can provide the public bodies with the direction that they need in terms of your competencies. Once you have saved and continued, it takes you to the final page of the application form and this is where you make your declaration. And then, we ask that you upload a government issued ID. Once you have consent and declared, you can upload your form. Once the form is uploaded, you will be um, within our purview in the Secretariat to go through your due diligence process for which you have consented to and once everything is satisfactory, we will um, move you over, for want of a better exercise, to what we consider now the database of prospective directors, where if it is that a board tenure expires, there's a change of minister, then we can go through the comp competency profile that is matched with your experience and you would satisfy whatever board that would be required at that time or would, tenure that would have ended at that time. What is being launched represents the culmination of a vision for corporate governance in Jamaica. So we want to know that we have the right persons with the right skill sets to manage and to direct these entities so that they understand what are the government policies, how is it that we are going to get from this point to the next point. So we will continue to work with the private sector organization of Jamaica, the civil society groups, and all our partners to ensure that we are going to build out this database and to encourage other persons to become a part of building Jamaica, working with our public bodies. Having a transparent process for the governance of these and stewardship of these financial resources is incredibly important in underpinning and maintaining public trust and ensuring the highest levels of public service delivery. Transparency in the nomination and selection of the board members of public bodies is also consistent with ensuring that Jamaica 
continues to abide by the highest levels of fiscal probity. Thank you.